What is good everybody? I am back with a brand new video and today we have, of course, Austin. We got Oliver with us and the whole family. We're here at Arthro Fisher. Gonna jump around a little bit, just get some good, hopefully quality shots. A little bit windy today, so we'll see how it goes. Let's get into it. 525 feet, you would definitely wanna lay up just across this road here and have an up shot to the basket. Gonna start off, oh boy, five times Zeus. What are you doing? Good shot. Be a little tough from that angle. Oh! Giving it a run right off the go? Got to. Currently trying something new out where my short putts are still in line. So I'm still straight within probably 20 feet. And then for my distance, I'm trying where I open the stance out so I can come back into it and push into it. <laughs> it just feels a little, as you saw, it got a little more power. It's still a little short, but yeah, still dead on. Hole two, 530 feet, par four. Want to lay up to this corner here. Then you have a pretty easy approach up. A little bit of a tailwind, maybe right to left as well. What are you throwing? Lightweight, not lightweight, understable. Strike? Yeah. Slide Annie, hope it glides. Yeah. Oh, that is money. You crushed that. Good shot. Right to where you want to be. That started me on. Austin left himself way better off. Honestly, just a little putter approach for your easy. Should be easy three. Or give it a run. Nope. Soft easy. Soft mid. Huh? Soft mid. Oh. Okay. Austin, mind you, has a Discraft shirt on today. Go Discraft. His whole bag is Innova. Hole four, 370. Feet, you got to hit this initial gap, but honestly a straight shot that is kind of fading at the end. It's gonna be perfect up. Never actually thrown this Zeus in to win so I'm just gonna try it He's throwing a $300 set of discs for some reason the collector part of me is so mad about it Keep going. Same spot. Do it. Ooh. They're both right. Hole five, 485 feet. Another pretty dead straight. Still long gap to contend with, but should be a pretty simple birdie. But you just never know. Gotta get a good feel for this, see if I actually want to put it in the bag or not. It's already in the bag. Permanently. And I don't know what it does in headwinds. So. Which one is it? Zeus. Zeus. On the road, will he get to skip back? He is OB. No, it oh, didn't. it kicked all the way back across on that tree. Okay, that Zeus is not gonna hold up to the in this wind, I don't think. <laughs> but that somehow kicked back in. Let's go. Can't seem to get the forehand rolling today. Everything with my zones coming out a little off, a little low. I don't know if I'm scared of the wind or it's just a form issue. Told you. I almost bet the first one doesn't make it in the video. <laughs> <laughs> Got him too. Should be aiming at the top of the band like that. Come on, Max. Pull seven, 260 foot par three. You have this middle gap or you have even a forehand gap off to the left here. But if a forehand goes through this middle gap, often it works out. There's not a whole lot of skip on this grass, usually. Oh, 
That should be for Park. Yeah. And it just died on impact. Yep. Austin is on the birdie train. Yeah, buddy. And a much better approach. Nice. Oh man, it's been some time. Actually my first birdie today, by the way, so. I'm back in that. Oh, thank God. <laughs> it works. Hole 14's an island, only 250 feet. There's a little creek right before the island that you have to get over. Austin, Toro. I normally throw a putter, so if I think I crank on this into the headwind, it should get there. All right. It made it. I don't like so. It looked like it skipped. On this side. <laughs> no way. I think so. Wait. I Original. I think it made it. All right. If oh. that was on this side, you have to literally smash those Toros. They're stupid over stable. That's in the back of that truck. No, it's not. It's blowing backwards at this point. <laughs> what are you what are you throwing? After seeing those, I think I gotta throw a fairway driver. <laughs> the face of disappointment. I'll try to match you with a zone what? versus your tour. Seems like a fair trade-off. Hey, I hope you're right. I hope I'm on the other side, but to me that sure looked like it bounced on this side. I'm just gonna try to rip this into this one. This has height. I don't think you made it either. I don't think I did. That was that was on uh, some hyzer. Let's see if I can make it work with this. Now what you got? Thunderbird. Yeah, that's a lot better and a lot safer. Hole 15, 630 foot par four. Just another absolute rip off the tee, very open. Um, on a casual day, this is a must. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Just landed on top of the hill. Good putt. Hole 16, 530 foot par four. Got to hit an initial gap, and you can kind of see the basket off to the right there. Pretty tough hole. OB is right. This is a pond to the right here, then road to the left. Our family has officially joined us again. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. <laughs> the more traditional route. Right up the gut. Talk about buttery smooth. That was smooth. Say he's going to try something crazy. Hold on, he's lining up the sky shot. Get down. Oh yeah. That's pretty good. The death of the camera. All right, Max, birdie putt. Oh, everybody, everybody may want that to miss. All right, guys, my camera actually just died. This phone, I don't have an attachment for my mic, so I just think it's better to cut the video here. We got through 16 holes and we're pretty close to plus one to even i'm not completely sure because kind of just threw that out the window but thank you guys so much for watching make sure to hit that like and subscribe button go follow chasing chains underscore on instagram where i post it daily and we will see you on the next one